Hey folks, welcome to Fiddlehead Fiddle Lessons. We're gonna do a tune called Constant Billy. And I heard this on an album, uh, it's called The Christmas Revels. I think there's a few of these albums. So it's sort of been, can be played as a holiday tune. Happy holidays, whatever the holiday may be. Um, Groundhog Day, play this song. It's a holiday song. All right, so I think it's actually a constant Billy is a Morris dance tune originating from England, I think. I'm not much of an ethnomusicologist, mainly a fiddler. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to play the entire tune for you, then break it down for you note by note, step by step. Here we go. Constant Billy, pretty cool tune. So it's in G major, always a good idea to play the scale related to the tune because that'll make the scales that you have to practice seem more relevant and fun and it'll also set you up nicely for playing this tune. So you can play low G, then the upper octave. Okay, the other great thing you can do to warm up for this tune is, and for any tune really, is to play it the, if there's any kind of predominant rhythm. So play that as a warm up. So with this one we have. So I'm gonna suggest you play it. Let's warm up with it together on an open string. So this rhythm goes almost throughout the whole tune. If you get it down right from the start, then it'll really make the whole thing easier. And that's why what I really try to do in these lessons is give you little hacks to make the, get these tunes more quickly. All right, so now I'm just gonna play the entire first half of the A part. I'm gonna break it down after that. I'm gonna play it really slow with finger charts to start. Here we go. Now with a little more flow. Okay, so we're gonna start with the pickup on open D and land on D3. I'm gonna go up to A1-3 after that. For those of you keeping score at home, that is, those of you who are interested in music theory, that's a G major triad, D3, A1, A3. So guess what chord we'll be playing on this song? G major in this spot. And this song is in G. So I like to keep throwing theory out there because eventually it sinks in. It's kind of, it took me a while to get it. So I'm hoping to just kind of, just kind of pepper the lessons a little bit with it. If you're not interested in that, don't worry about it. It's not that important. And then we're gonna do after that a one open D three. So we so far we have got that. Okay, let's take that little piece and let's loop. Let's loop this much of it. D. Th let's leave out the pickup note and loop. Okay, that's one of the best practices you can do is to loop small parts. I'm not gonna do it for all the parts, but I always like to loop a little bit so you remember to do that. Um, so let's move on. The second half of this A part, uh, or we're working on the first half, sorry. And to finish the first half, I should say, we're gonna do this. I'm gonna break that down. We're gonna go A low two, one low two and then open A, D2, open D. 
which has a D major triad. So we'll be playing a D chord there. All right, so here we go. This whole second half, this whole piece. Now I'm gonna slowly play the entire first half of the A part with the pickup on open D. Okay, now let's move on to the second half. With more flow. One more time. I think the rhythm might be. Okay, so. Breaking that down, we have, we're starting with a one open D3. Okay, and then D one, two, three. So we have, here's that again. And we're ending with, on D open one, two, three. And that last note's held longer. It's a dotted quarter note, so it gets held three beats. One, two, three. Okay, so the whole second half, the A part. All right, what a nice tune. Okay, and so now, um, let's do, I'm gonna do the entire A part. I'm gonna do a play, a cut to a play along track. And uh, if you're unsure of any of the parts, I suggest you pause the video and practice them right now. Okay, so here's the play along track for the A part to Constant Billy. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, cool. Let's move on to the B part. And um, you know some of it already, I should say. But anyway, I'm going to play the first quarter. Here we go. With more flow. Okay, breaking that down, we we'll start with D three, and then A one low two three. And it's like a long short short. And then we're gonna go open E A low two one. Sorry, A. So open E A low two one. So we have. So far, the first quarter of the B part, and the next quarter is. So that starts open A, open one low two, and then A three, one, D three, which is the G major triad again. So this whole first quarter, let's put it together. Okay, and then the second quarter, let's move on to that. With flow. So, start, it's, it's pretty much, it's very similar to the first quarter. This much is the same. We just don't do the A1 to D3 at the end, okay? One, two, three. 
two, three. And we just hold the A3 long at the end, all right? So okay, cool. Let's move on to the third quarter of the B part. with flow. Okay, so it starts A3, low 2, 3. All right. And now I'm going to ask you to refer back to the first half of the A part, because from here on out, it's the same as that. So this is an important thing to take away, is that often if you get the first part, the first quarter or phrase of a tune, it really is a good investment of your time because often it's repeated later. So, um, and then more generally look for things that are repeated a lot and really put a lot of energy into those at first because they'll kind of open up the tune for you more quickly. All right, so now putting together this whole um, third quarter of the B part, Okay, and now the fourth chord of the B part is the same as the second half of the A part. So the A part's shorter, um, it's half as long. Sounds confusing, but I, I think it makes sense when you play the song. Um, so here's the fourth chord, I'll just review it for you, but remember it's the same as the second half of the A. Okay, so now I'm just going to play the entire B part very slowly for you. Cool, thanks for watching this. Um, pretty cool tune, right? And even though it's a holiday tune, you don't have to just play it on holidays like Groundhog Day or um, St. Patrick's Day. You could uh, play it anytime. And uh, what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I'm gonna do a short Boeing lesson for this. People have been asking for more Boeing stuff. So I'm gonna do a Boeing lesson and post that to the same page as this tune on fiddlehead.com. It's free for a week to trial users, so go check that out. Just a few tips, not a big deal. Just a few tips to help you bow it. And that's about it. Thanks for watching, folks. See you soon. Go to fiddlehead.com for a progressive step-by-step -step course outline, color-coded tabs, play-along tracks, sheet music, and much more. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.